Tuesday, May 18th is a day in history. It's a day that has been constantly repeated for years and years. A day no more or less significant than any other day. It's only a blur in the endless carnage and suffering that possess a stinging similarity to the Nazi Holocaust. These atrocities, however, are happening right now. It's just another day of ethnic cleansing in Bosnia. Ethnic cleansing is a Serbian invented euphemism describing the atrocities being committed against Muslim and Croatian civilians. The war that began in April 1992 was predictable. What was not so predictable was cold blooded murder of civilians, nor was the mass of deportations and overcrowded cattle cars and trains to concentration camps. Upon arrival at these camps, prisoners were sheared like sheep. Denied medical attention, food, and shelter, many die in these death camps every day. The grass has all been ripped out and eaten as it's the only source of food that someone gets to eat. When it rains, prisoners find themselves standing up to their knees in mud. Only a handful of these prisoners bore arms against the Serbian soldiers. The Serbian government has given orders that special treatment be shown to healthy women between 17 to 40 years of age. Tens of thousands of these young girls and women receiving this special treatment were systematically raped with the sickening plan of impregnating them with Serbian seeds and making them bear a stranger, which are then to be taken away. The world strongly stated never again after World War II. This may be the reason why most of the world seems to be ignoring this modern day genocide. Tuesday, May 18, 1993 was the date on the newspaper that held the gruesome picture of a woman holding a skull that once belonged to a loved one. This single picture outraged me and opened my eyes to the ethnic cleansing I had only previously overlooked as just another war. It was a slap in the face that I still feel to this day, a constant reminder of the pain caused by human ignorance and greed. Almost two years and one song later, and nothing's changed, except for the death toll. How much longer will these atrocities continue? How much longer will people sit silently by as history repeats?